Peace, love, and life, family. It's your girl, Ada, coming to you here live and in living color with Chickasha Rising. Peace, light, and love to everyone out there on this uh, Friday night. Hopefully, everyone is doing well and being productive with their time and energy and being safe out there on this chaotic, this chaotic hell of a weekend. We are dealing with um, Thanksgiving weekend. You know, you have a lot of people out and about shopping, etc., taking part of the bullshit and of the grand illusion. Um, you know, we're going to let them and leave them to it. Um, you know, you got people out here spending money that they don't have in the red, all in trying to be in the black on black Friday. We're going to divvy in to, um, I wanted to talk about and give in reference and praise to the ancestors, but I wanted to focus on, uh, the brothers and sisters of the Pequot nation of the indigenous tribes of new England and Massachusetts and giving them reference and things like that in reference to, uh, the massacre and where this whole Thanksgiving feast crap came into being the whole historical concept of it, uh, is completely trash. It's garbage. It's full of lies. And we should be diving into the true history of this fucked up day holiday weekend and how it's turned into this massive corporate contract consumerism crap where people right now are out there shopping with money that they don't have that they should be keeping for themselves investing it within their own communities and not feeding the belly of the beast and not feeding this satanic system so with that being said we're going to divvy into uh talking about the pequot uh, massacre and mystic. Um, now, you know, just like I stated in my other video, you don't have to go far to search the origins of Thanksgiving and dealing with the so-called Negro, which is a true indigenous man and woman of America. Um, they have been hijacked. They have, their identity has been stolen by imposters. And, you know, this is where we are today in dealing with this Thanksgiving crap. So, you know, you really don't have to search high or far in learning about the origins of uh, Thanksgiving and what it means and what it celebrates and what it's referenced to. Um, doesn't take a lot for a person to research it to know that everything that they teach these kids in public schools, everything that they put on magazines, everything that they put in text textbooks, or just having the mind, you know, of the so-called Mer American that, you know, oh, Thanksgiving was beautiful. You know, it was all about sharing of the turkey. And no, it's bullshit. Those are all lies. And if anybody say that they're lies or not lies, they're, they're lying. Okay, because they're all lies. Okay, you know, we're going to talk about the bloody Pequot massacre of 1637. You know, that's what everyone is celebrating this weekend. This is what everybody is secretly ce celebrating and they don't understand it or know it of who the true indigenous aboriginal Pequot nation of Massachusetts, as well as parts of the eastern seaboard. They were a large sum of people in that area and they were a awesome people. But what happened then? You know, we have a lot of people out here celebrating thanksgiving but it's pretty much bellying off of the bloody pequot massacre of mystic that occurred of in, in 1637 not the 1621 turkey picnic you know i talked about that one about the plymouth and the pilgrims that's what everybody thinks that they're celebrating but they're not they're celebrating the death and the genocide and the murder of an indigenous aboriginal tribe here in the Americas, which was the Pequot nation. And these pictures that I'm showing you are the true people are the true copper colored Pequot people of those tribes in Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Uh, oh gosh, their land went massive. And I'm not showing you the Asiatic because that's not who is indigenous or original to this land. We need to start manifesting ourselves within our own stories and within our own truth, which is the truth. We can no longer, you know, paint this picture of these Asiatics being the Indian because they're not. 
We are. We are indigenous to this soil. Okay? They don't they want to disconnect you from this land as much as possible. It is their goal. But if you are physically, spiritually, and ancestrally connected to this land, it will cry out to you and speak to you. If you are in tuned with your spirit, with your ancestry, with who you are, you know, these spirits of these people that have perished in the past are still here. They call out and they want justice and they want the truth to be told. And it's up to us to instill that truth. It is up to us as the original people of this land to share this truth and to teach the truth to the world because they don't know it. And people have been lied to on a grand scale. History has been taught to mankind. History has been given to us in reverse. And these are the true people that I'm showing here. All of this, these pictures that I'm showing are the true people. No longer will we look at white pale people as being who we are. The true indigenous, ontogenous, original people, the indigenous people of the Americas. Okay, the copper colored people. This is the weekend that they're celebrating. They're celebrating the bloody Pequot massacre of 1637. That is what they're, they're they, they are celebrating this weekend. Okay. And you've got th them celebrating this day, which is a day of ethnic cleansing to the so-called Negro, which is the American Indian. Um, making up several tribes in the Americas, crossing, uh, like I said, Massachusetts, Connecticut, uh, the Pequots. They were a mighty nation, warriors, and were an awesome, awesome people. They still are an awesome people, um, you know. But this day, the story comes from the real story. The massacre was on May the 26th in Mystic when Captain John Matt Mason, assisted by a Mohegan warrior, led a raid on the Pequots. Mystic Fort, some 700 Pequots, including women and children, were killed after the fort was set fire. So they went there and they killed these people. You know? They went there and they killed these people. They arrived to the shores and killed them. This is this not what they what they are doing today? Is this not what this white man did and going to that island in India and having those indigenous people kill him? But they weren't having it on that island. This is what they did. We are no different. They came to our shores. They didn't bring us nowhere. Y'all, they came to our shores. I want us to wake up. To see that this is what they, all the stuff that they've done is what they continue to do. It's nothing different. It's nothing different. They came to the shores a Massachusetts, Connecticut area, the eastern seaboard, went there, killed the women, killed the children, and set it on fire. The next day, Massachusetts Governor, uh, Massachusetts Bay Governor William Bradford designated a day of Thanksgiving kept in all the churches for our victories against the Pequots. So you've got the church of Christianity, Catholicism with the Jesuits and the missionaries and the Puritans and all these goddamn satanic peckerwood ass European people that came giving Jesus doing their same shit that they are, be they've been doing spreading their democracy, giving it to the Indian, the American Indian, which is the so-called Negro. It says Bradford later described the massacre in gory and horrific terms in his history of the Plymouth plantation history of the Plymouth plantation who were on plantations. Y'all was it the American Negro? Was it not the American Negro, which is the American Indian? These were contracts. I want us to see this in the business form. Our families were indentured servants that landed bad contracts and with these people and doing business with them. And they came here, squatted and took over. This is what happened. Okay. This is our history. And you know, this is where it all goes back to is to the bloody Pequot massacre of 13 of 1637. And everybody is looking 
looking at the the 1621 turkey picnic feast in Plymouth. We're not talking about that. That that comes with that. But it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. And the whole Thanksgiving, the whole national holiday, you know, it was clear. President Abraham Lincoln set the last Thursday of every November as a national so-called day of thanks. And it says a proclamation Lincoln issued on October 1863 um, is religious and it paid homage to an almighty hand that might heal the quote unquote wounds of the nation and to restore the full enjoyment, quote unquote, of peace, harmony, tranquility and union. No, there was no mention of the proclamation of colonists or Indians or turkeys or anything like that, you know, which it was, was a celebration of killing of the American Negro of the need of the Negroes, which is the so-called, which is the so-called Negro, which are the true American Indians, you know, this was a day of feasting and for them. Not for us. They came here and took the fuck over. No, we have to remember that. We have to remember this is what the whole Thanksgiving Day is about. A day of Thanksgiving. These demons, these people, after they set that part of that, that village down, they burnt it down. The next day, it said the governor of Massachusetts, William Bradford, designed a day of Thanksgiving kept in all the churches for our victories against the Pequots. Bradford later described the massacre in horrific terms in his history of Plymouth Plantation. It was fearful sight to see them frying in the fire, fryer and streams of blood quenching the same and horrible was the stinkle and stint, he wrote. But the victory seemed sweet uh, sent the sweet sacrifice and they gave their prayers thereof to God who had wrought them so wrongfully for them thus to enclose their enemies in their hands and give them so speedily a victory over a proud and insulting an enemy reading those kind of words you know it should make you think this is what they did to us on this day this is what this is celebrating Okay. All the way back, everyone's linking it to the turkey picnic feast in Plymouth. Yes. You know, it did happen, but it didn't happen the way that people are believing that it happened. And it's the wrong thing that they're looking at. You know, Thanksgiving, that's what the real Thanksgiving is about. The massacre. This is what this is celebrating. And the whole harvest, harvesting of the squash, all of this is reminiscent and the anniversary of it because you you get your crop in the fall, you harvest it. And they celebrated it around this time of year, celebrating the death of us and their harvest, thanking their God for them killing us. This is what this is celebrating. I want to see, I want you guys to get the correlation here. You know, this is not, this is not what this is about. This is about these Puritans. This is about these, 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 these people that came on the Mayflower, both European and so-called black African. And like these people that came over here on this day, Thanksgiving, Thanks for taking. Thanks for raping. Thanks for the destruction. This is what this is about. And we sit here on a full moon and the ancestors literally cry out for justice because they want us to see the truth, know the truth and to tell the truth. Because, see, all is going to be revealed whether we do something or not. But don't you want to be credited for being right and true? Not lying, but being at one with peace and nature and harmony of the earth and of the cosmos as well. As great spirit, this truth has to come out and we're not going to sit silent and let this go. We are the true people of this land. We are indigenous to it. We have no beginning. We have no end. The jig is up. You know, we have to look at this correlation and then you've got millions of us. I'll go into Black Friday another time. I'll go into Black Friday on another segment. But this is what this is about. Thanksgiving. This is what it is. It is the 
anniversary of them performing ethnic cleansing on us. The so-called Negro, the so-called black man, which is the true American Indian of America and killing the Pequots. This is what this is about. Thanksgiving, the real Thanksgiving and what they're celebrating here. You know, this is not talking about the 1621 turkey picnic feast in Plymouth, which did not exist. Okay. And it didn't go down like they say that they, it, that it went down. But I just want to share this to have you guys think about this. Look at this deeply and research this out. This is what this is about. This whole celebration of Thanksgiving. It's celebrating the massacre and death and plight of our people. In us as a people, and we don't even see it, and we don't even know who we are. It's time for us to wake up. Peace, light, and love.